two, three, go. When the well runs dry And the food runs out And the words you speak Are the only things that touch your mouth Will you be content With the stories told Of your days of youth to your days of old Oh my Oh me Tonight my darling we sing We'll shout on high As we wait for the well to run dry See you know Sparrows on the ceiling Flowers on the wall She was standing in the corner Maybe ten feet tall Look over her shoulder Blush upon her cheek Not a word was spoken But I think we both agree think we both agree so if you nothing left to 
say then don't say nothing and if you nothing left to give then up and leave I just can't seem to give you something to believe in seven those you never didn't So keep my wits about me and put on my facade. But her eyes, they see right through me. I was destined to be caught. destined to be caught so if you nothing left to say then don't say nothing and if you nothing left to give then up and leave I just can't seem to give you something to believe in cause heaven knows you Never did in me. So if you've nothing left to say, then don't say nothing. And if you've nothing left to give, then I believe. I just can't seem to give you something to believe in. Seven those. Never did in me. Seven knows you never did in me. Seven knows you never did in me. I couldn't tell you about the way it feels To love a land that you know so well To want so bad that it hurts like hell It's the kind of love you can only find When you lose yourself and you lose your pride And you pick up all the little things To put together something great Something great But hey baby, we're here Night. Let's sit outside by the firelight And listen to the coyotes howl our names into the night Hey baby, we'll never die Forever young, it's you and I Let's listen to the coyotes howl our names into the night Ah ooh, oh, oh. ooh It's never been more clear to me There's reds and grays and blues and greens The ones we choose to stick with most Seem to be the ones we know And I swear she knows me better than A summer's fling or a lifelong friend A lifelong friend But hey baby, we're here tonight Let's sit outside by the firelight and listen to the coyotes howl our names into the night Hey baby, we'll never 
die Forever young, it's you and I Let's listen to the coyotes How our names into the night How Listen to the coyotes how our names into the night. How ooh, oh, how ooh, oh, how ooh, oh, how ooh, oh, how ooh. Hello, friends. My name is Mac Wilson from The Current from Minnesota Public Radio. I'm joined in The Current studio today by Briscoe, Philip, and Truitt. Thanks again for stopping by. Thank you for having us out. We're happy to be Seriously, here. Seriously, such a pleasure to be here. So you were in town. You played at the 7th Street Entry last night, and you were yeah. saying before we went on that it's a cool little room to be in. Is this your oh, first yeah. time playing in Minnesota? So we uh, opened the show for fellow named Rustin Kelly at First Avenue. Sure, um, yeah. So we got to be kind of in that space, and then this is our first headline show uh, at 7th Street Entry, and it was a blast. That room is just fun, and if you have a decent amount of people, it feels just packed, so it was awesome. Yeah, it's funny how, I think that was before the release of your record, uh, West of It All, when you were mm-hmm. in town with Rustin Kelly, so maybe you slipped under our radar at the time, so it's mm-hmm. it's good to welcome you back for a... Uh, a real-time uh, headlining show, so it's cool well, to have you, you in. Thanks for having us. Boy, you've, you've played with a bunch of folks in the relatively short time that you've been uh, as a band. Rustin Kelly, I mean, that's cool. Is he a nice fella, or is it one of those where you don't even get to chat with him? No, we got to chat with him a good bit. Um, he's a, He was so kind to us, um, and that was kind of our first full band you know, tour, if you will, um, doing support for Russ and Kelly. We just graduated from the University of Texas um, in May. And so that was like our, our first experience really on the road as a full band. And um, Rustin was so kind to us and, and was just a really good first person to do support for. Um, and yeah, I mean, there were a couple of times he came, played some hacky sack with us and just hung out and our keyboard player john is a is a big super smash bros fan and so him and rustin battled it out a couple times um, I, I guess when i think about it yeah i could see rustin being a big video game guy yeah yeah, yeah they had it, some yeah, they had some epic sense. battles it was fun fun yeah. to watch yeah. so this is this may seem like a tangent but bear with me on this so uh, if you're familiar with Maggie Rogers, mm-hmm. but she was yeah. in the current studio right when she was starting off and the tour manager came in beforehand and says, Maggie is tired of talking about Pharrell Williams. Like we're, let's not tell that story again. So I'm like, okay, I won't bring it up. But are you getting to that point with being asked about Dave Matthews now? Like I, I'm seeing this and I'm like, how can I not <laughs> ask them about what it's like to open up for Dave Matthews and Dave Matthews band? So if you're willing, would you go into a little bit of that experience? Absolutely, yeah. No, we're not tired of that at all. How could you be tired of that, right? Uh, we Yes, we got to open for Dave Matthews at the Gorge in Washington State um, on Labor Day weekend. He does three nights every Labor Day weekend there, Labor Dave weekend. Um, and it was just a crazy experience. The Gorge is just an awesome amphitheater, awesome venue. Um, and getting to open for Dave Matthews, I mean, come on, that's like everybody's dream, one of the best touring artists um, of all time. So it was a crazy, surreal experience to get to 
spend time with Dave, uh, be around his band members. They're all very kind. Uh, and then he even came on stage and gave us a funny little introduction before we played. So it was a really, really cool experience. So you mentioned that you just graduated from college. You don't want to know how long ago I graduated from college. It was about <laughs> two decades ago. But when I was in school, like everybody would listen to Dave Matthews band and it was sort of a staple of the dorms. Is he still popular with the, the kids these days? You know, I not to the same extent that he was, obviously. Um, but I think there's a, a lot like like I was raised on Dave Matthews. My dad is a huge uh, DMB fan, our drummer is uh the same way he was raised on on dave matthews band is a huge carter beauford fan um and so i think for you know select few of our friends who were kind of raised the same way um it was just incredible and so cool to get to experience that and and also i mean opening was a blast but also just getting to watch them play at the gorge was just incredible yeah. too they're just so i mean they've been doing it for so long for good reason because they're just as good as it gets so it was incredible so you noted that you're from texas went to school in austin so in the american league championship series right now it's the first time ever that the two texas teams have played each other in the playoffs mm -hmm. the houston astros and the texas rangers so where's your allegiances my uh grandparents are live in dallas and are huge rangers fans um and so they kind of brainwashed me when I was young to be a, a Rangers Cowboys fan um, despite growing up in South Texas um, so I'm I'm pulling for the Rangers and they got a good win yesterday they so. did yeah and Philip I'm gonna go Astros I spent a, my family spent a year in Houston uh, a while back like 2009 um, and ended up going to quite a few Astros games but I also loved the Rangers growing up so it's really tough for me to choose a side honestly I'm, I'm a happy kid either way I've never sure. been to Houston I've just flown through it and uh, yeah. I've noticed your cap too mm -hmm. where uh, the Skurlock oil company it, right. it seems like one of those things that could be like is that a real company or is that like manufactured it like? was it <laughs> has uh dissolved I think it was actually incorporated into some bigger entity since uh this hat was produced but it was at a thrift store in West Texas where I'm from so I picked it up you're telling me that an oil company is big enough to absorb other companies? Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, yeah, I've I never heard of that that's, happening that's before. Like cool. So for your new record, you met up with uh, one of the best sibling duos around, Phil and Brad Cook. They're, they're just the best fellas yeah. on the planet. And uh, now, were both of them doing production work, or did you just work with uh, Brad producing and Phil doing everything else? Yeah, so Brad was Brad produced the record entirely, um, and then kind of brought Phil in to do what Phil Cook does and play every instrument beautifully with amazing feel, just kind of to saturate the record. So he ended up doing a lot of um, different keys parts, banjo, dobro, slide, electric, just all kinds of um, fun little parts uh and arrangements for the record and then brad also played a lot of different things but all the bass on the record uh but together i mean that combination is crazy we were so fortunate to get to do that record with them and they're just great guys really good folks to be around and uh really believed in us in this first record and uh poured a lot into it as well so we're very fortunate you are fairly fairly early into briscoe as a band mm -hmm. do you feel like things are happening really fast i would say yes and no i think there are times where you know you look back and like like we were just talking about the fact that we have opening for dave matthews band under our belt and and um just wrapping up our first headline tour things of that nature it does feel like it's moving fast but at the same time it, it, it also feels like a good kind of steady step-by-step -step process and, and we're enjoying it um enjoying both sides of it for sure so so you noted that you're on your way back to texas after this you're basically we're gonna get off the air and you're gonna get in the, the van and head back to texas that's right do you plan on like taking time to decompress for a while or are you the type of folks that you're like we're gonna get writing and recording again like what do you see happening in the next couple of weeks or months 
Yeah, it's so fun being in Austin, based in Austin, because there's just markets all around. So we're gonna we're gonna do like some weekend warrior shows, uh, pretty much till Christmas. I think we'll have shows almost every weekend in different markets. Pr- play some private gigs down there as well. Um, but we both love songwriting and uh, music outside of touring. So uh, we're gonna be writing a ton and um, hopefully can use that restful time to come up with some new ideas. We don't have any uh, dates in the studio coming up, um, but we'll get our songs ready for when they do. We are here in the current studio with Briscoe, Philip and Truett. Thank you again for stopping by today after your show at the entry and best of luck to everything. I'm sure we'll be welcoming you back soon, whether you're opening up for Taylor Swift or playing a headline show of your own, you're under really good things. So thanks again for stopping by. Well, thank you so much for having us. Such a pleasure. And we'll see you down the road. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. The Current is public media made possible thanks to member support.